Hello, welcome on my channel. In this video, I want to show you how to make these amazing time lapses. Before we start, we have to download a set of holders for the remote trigger for our cameras. All links you can find in the description. The trigger camera holder, which is the biggest part you can see on the screen, should be printed with additional supports. All printed and mounted parts should look like that. Next step is to download extra plugin for Cura version 4.3. The link is also in the description below. To install it, click Help Many Item, then click Show Configuration folder, find the folder called Scripts, unpack the script into the script folder, and then reset Cura. The next step is to calibrate the right position when the extruder clicks the camera trigger. We have to set X axle in the right position and Y axle that the printer bed moves completely to the front position after each layer is printed. In the Ender 3 menu we have to click Prepare and then Auto Home then all axles go to the position 0. Next we click Prepare menu and move axis. Start with Excel Z and leave the extruder 10 mm. Then we choose Excel Y and set the position to 220 mm. Now the most important step, we have to adjust Excel X until it hits the trigger, in my case it's 224 mm. When we know the exact position where the extruder should go after each layer, we can start Cura. To start our new plugin, in upper menu click Extensions and then Post Processing and choose Modify G-Code. In the new menu we can add scripts by clicking Add Scripts button. We have to add Custom Time Lapse and Search and Replace. Let's talk a little bit how this plugin works. Custom Time Lapse, after every printed layer, moves printer bed to the front position and click the camera trigger. This is how it looks like. So, our perfect position is X224 and Y220. In the first line on this plugin, we should type X position a little bit smaller than 224 because the first line of the script is about to move extruder as fast as possible to that position and the second line of the script is to click the camera trigger with much uh, slower movement. So in the first line, we set X to 215 and Y to 220 and F, which means movement speed, we set it to 9000. In the second line, we set X to 224, Y to 220 and F to 2000. The third line, we set it to 700 milliseconds, enable retraction has to be on and the retraction distance, we set it to 6 mm. In my case, the settings works pretty well. So now, after each layer, extruder should hit the camera trigger and make a picture. There is one more problem which has to be solved. After each layer, extruder moves to the trigger position really fast, but the comeback movement is really slow and it can cause some filament stringing. To see how our G-code looks right now, let's slice our model, save it and open it using Notepad. Now click Ctrl F and type word time and click next. The marked area is how our script looks like in the G-code. 
Now we should select this line and copy it. Then change it for the fast movement command. To do that, we will use second script, which is search and replace. So, in the search position, we paste the line of the code which we copied before, and on the replace line, we type G0 X115 Y115 F9000. We are finally ready to make some of these amazing time lapses. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please leave the thumbs up and subscribe the channel so you won't miss any of my new videos. Thanks for watching, see ya!